What is going on, everyone? Commodore Lesson today brings us my live reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 184. Now, the chapter is out. We are here today to read the latest installment of Akatama Gege's masterpiece and continue on with the greatness of Restless Gambler from Kinji Akari against Charles Bernard, man. Because listen, jackpot season is in full effect, all right? I know it, it was one of those things where when we wanted to know what this domain expansion had to offer. And obviously, you know, because we're reading through TCB, shout out to them and everything too. Because you know, again, with some series, and in the case of an ability like this, you're going to need the explanation to understand exactly how everything works. But it's Pachinko Boys. Pachinko Boys is where it is, man. That's all That's all it is. I get the jackpot, you get a W. And it matters just, you know, of course, all the other factors, you know, the color schemes, the doors, all that and everything. But it's pretty simple, man. He takes literally any like your favorite series whatever it may be he uses that as the concept for his actual domain so him using the whole love train thing that was going on is something that charles obviously is familiar with and used that as part of the domain for like the concept and stuff so i don't think it's really that difficult to comprehend whatsoever and i think obviously of course in the anime it's gonna be a little bit more easier to see it being demonstrated but i think for what we got of it thus far it's brilliant but i do question though that because we're getting the domain expansion now and we saw the likes of Kashimo in the weights and everything, I do wonder though, are we going to end the fight here with Charles now and then segue into what's going on with Kashimo? If because my other thing too is that even though we're seeing all this right now, and again, I use my skill and my luck, and I just 10 out of 10, like it's 10 out of 10 skill, 10 out of 10 luck to grab a hold of the luck. I use my skill, like that's a Hikari right there, but I do wonder. Is there a little bit more? Because obviously with Hakari, we know that he's supposed to be one of the three successors to Gojo alongside the likes of Yuji and Okotsu. And I'm thinking to myself, as impressive as this is, and I really do like it, there's got to be more to it. And again, Hakari, he's again very new still to all of this. We've been waiting to see what he has to offer. I still feel like there's much more that Gege has to show off with them. And hopefully we get to see that soon. But from where we're getting right now, I'm enjoying it. But I know that there's more to it. So... Let's see what's going on this week. Is Charles going to have any chance? Or is Akari getting the W? And then we go from there. So, will he kick the Magaka's ass once and for an all? Let's go. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, oh, we transitioning real quick. We transitioning real quick. Oh, man. Wait, so, no. We have to see how Charles... Wait. No, but Panda, you know what? Panda went through enough. We have to see how he's doing too, Okay. He had to watch his own, the Kiryu of Kaisen having to be taken out the paint. So you know what? Fair enough. We have to see how he's doing. Because again, I know Panthers cried too. And I know he's been holding it into, but it's still like, my boy's all alone and everything. Look at him, bro. Chill on crates. Ah, bro, please. At least I'll have to see the sister court too and everything, man. God, God damn. Right now, I'm not a panda. I am a teddy bear. What are you talking about, boy? The smell of blood is so... Oh, no. Please don't tell me this has anything to do with Kashimo. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bro, please don't smoke the panda. Please. Yeah, yeah, I swear. If Kashimo's the one that has to fight panda, I'm gonna be sick. Because unless that sister core is the difference maker... Oh, God. Look at him just chilling there. But, like, you're in a hostile territory. By yourself. I understand. But even so. There must be about three people dismembered here. Like Akari. Panda also wins his Tokyo Kali number two. The situation is. So, obviously, this is already getting scary. This is already getting scary. If the curse energy is already taking down the volume, then I already know that I'm in a very bad situation right here, okay? Because obviously, when they enter the colony and stuff, like we saw with Yuji and Megami, they got separated. He's in one way, Hakari's in the other way and stuff. But it, oh man. So, kill number two, colony four. Pray for my boy, please do not get smoked out here. But the curse energy of the perpetrator is very faint. It's hard to use my nose. There's a good chance as an expert who can turn their curse energy on and off at will. My mission is to find Angel and negotiate. 
Now, obviously, of course, we know that they're in Tokyo. I mean, there's two different sectors, the one and two and stuff. But obviously for him, he's trying to go and see a fine Hana. And obviously we know with her, she's with Megami at the moment. And then with Remy, I don't know what's going to happen with her situation and stuff. But, oh my god. Originally, I had planned to leave all the fighting to Akari. But I also had expected us to be separated so swiftly the moment we entered. Rather than teleportation, when you enter the colony in such bad taste. So seeing from when we saw the Yuji when he got switched over uh, to a different area and stuff when we first entered. Even though I need to leave this place fast, it'll be bad if I act rationally and get found out. So, all I can do is be a teddy bear and endure it. <laughs> Great, you know what? I respect the Panda because most people, like myself in my situation, there's no way in hell I'm staying in an abandoned, like, warehouse area and stuff or like uh, just chilling there waiting to be smoked like I, honestly i'm trying to make my way out but you're being more rational than that so fair enough no aren't i a panda <laughs> backflips i think he backflips uh, y'all listen because i see so many panda videos and stuff of like how they roll around off hills and everything and stuff i hope to god that when this is in the anime that they actually make sure like like picture for picture they make the roles perfect man because you know, <laughs> it'd be funny to watch though so he rolls off bonk he's fine okay looks both ways and he wipes his sway like oh god <laughs> oh no it's happening oh the fat is about to get smoked please Bro, the sister core better be something scary, man. Oh, this is not what I wanted, dog. Oh, this is gonna be hell. Look at that monstrosity just walking, chilling. Ah, hit a ah, ah. What? Something wandered out of Ueno. Oh, he's talking about the Ueno's. Yeah, okay. So I was thinking because I thought it was gonna be something out of like a Ghibli thing, or whatever. But no, it's, it's talking about like the zoos and stuff. So uh, to, uh, Tokyo, there's no, they're known for pandas in the Ueno Zoo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up whip had literally turned into an actual panda. Yo, that's funny as hell though. I'm sorry, bro. Gege was waiting since time to do something like that, bro. <laughs> oh literally turned like he like he was just walking on twos. And thankfully, as soon as the turn happens, it goes straight back on all fours. Act like an actual panda. That is actually hilarious, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, must be hard walking around on two legs. Like, oh, it's, it's a panda. What am I gonna do? Oh, but if if he says if he says something or does something to make him, oh no! But then, look at Kashiwa could feel like curse energy though. Oh God, this no. Oh no! The Kogane is gonna reveal it, bro. Kogane here. Is that a player? What? A player? Yep. 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 I'm already in hell, man. Kashiro just immediately pulls it. And of course, Panda taking the stance already. Like, we're about to box right now. But, oh, no. He's about to get absolutely eviscerated here. That's a function. And. Yo, 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 yo. He got punched right through. And you see the, the excess coming up in the back. The beam, whatever, the from the... Wait, hold on. Is this staff right there or something? Such shocking speed. They're heavy too. And he pulls up his staff they had um, from earlier. <clears throat> and he... Bruh. Oh my god. Panda. No. Oh my gosh. No, bro. Gosh, relax. 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 Relax, bro. The, that panda was just looking for some grass. He was just looking for some grass. That's all he was doing. Oh, my guy just batters them away right into the crates. Not only that, it's like Fushiguro's Nui. His curse energy has the same properties as electricity. 
This guy's body is naturally always electrified. And right away, gorilla mode. Gorilla mode, you have to. But this... But please tell me the third core is fine enough to be utilized. Because that's the only way he's going to survive. In other words, there's no way to defend against it. <laughs> but in that case, I am the same. My boy coming in. Right hand, palm strike. But... Cosmo gets a block in, and you hear the crackling on his body and stuff. Unblockable drumming beat. And it's like almost like, you know, like with uh, whales and stuff like the. Um, that's almost what we're starting to come into mind right now. It's like the thing where the. Um, whenever they speak or something, they can hear like the ultrasound kind of thing, whatever it is. Internal damage. Yeah, that's pretty much what it. Yeah, I think that's what it pretty much is. It hits them, but it's more something it hits on the inside. Okay, internal damage. Not bad. Oh, no, he's going to go for, like, a, a pre uh, suplex slam. Or at least, like, an arm drag. It looks like an, uh, looks like an arm drag. Oh, no! Like, please stop this, KK, stop! Not the Panta, bro! His poor arm, I get it, but even then, like, stop. You gotta stop. Gah. But I'm not impressed. God damn it, he's only got the left. He's only got the left. It's too ordinary. He throws it back. I'm already tired. Of all this misdirection. I don't know. Did he just catch... It looks like, did he catch the hand or something? Or Hold on. He smashes back. Oh, gee, no, wait, that's not the, the staff, isn't it? If that's what... Oh. No, it had, it had to be fake. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to really... No, he... he... He hit him in the head with the freaking arm. And what he's seeing behind him is the staff. And Cosimo is just laying a Mike Tyson-esque whipping. And Panda, please unlock the third core. That's the only way you have a chance of living. Oh my god, Panda. Bro, what is this pain in my heart? Stop, bro, please. Stop this, man. Weak. Too weak. Sukuna. You know where Sukuna is. Yeah, Panda's not giving that information up. <clears throat> He's not giving that information up. He won't... No, my God. That means he's gonna die. No. Sukuna. What for? Whatever it is, it can't be good for Itadori. No clue. And it sounds like you know something then. Spit it out. I'll be merciful. Gay okay, okay, please stop. I know that you're going to give me paid, but don't start with this, man. My uncle goes by that name. Are you looking down on me? You're the Oh, it's time! It is time! Please tell me it's time! Tell me that's what he's about to do right now. Hold on. You're the one underestimating me. My big sister is a shy, shy girl. She's so shy that she'll kill anyone who meets her eyes. And he's transforming completely. It's time. It's time. Third core season. Let's go, please. Yo, 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 oh, bro, wait, Cosmo got the look on, no, electricity sparks, and I'm only seeing a top, like, the head and thing, it's like a huge Q-bone, like a Marowak or whatever, kind of thing, because I'm only seeing, like, the top part of the skull, it's, like, still morphing and everything, with his electricity, like, curse energy, Cosmo can, can create, <clears throat> Cosmo can create separation of positive and negative charges, so, so now we're getting the confirmation here. His curse energy is basically on electricity. 
which is interesting going by the guy that got absolutely eviscerated the first time that we saw Costume Mo. Because there wasn't a trace there of electricity being shown off. But like, so with his electricity, like her uh, energy, Costume can create separation of positive and negative charges. He transfers the positive charges to his enemies with his attacks. While stopping the negative charges accumulated in his body from discharging to the ground, using this to guide said charges towards opponents. This attack. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? I'm in pain. There is no uh, man. Panda died right there, bro. There's no way, man. Does not need a demand expansion to guarantee that it hits. Like a ball of lightning ripping through the atmosphere. Oh my god, this dude is a monster. Jesus. So where's Sukuna? Oh my god, man. I know Kashmir was going to be a problem, but this is too much. They have to go. They have to go. I don't care who the hell comes into the mix now. Somebody better avenge my panza, please. Bro, what is the text here? Kashima awakens after 400 years and seeks Sukuna. A lightning-like fighting instinct. My god, bro. He literally was about to go in with the third core, and Kashmo said, I've been around for 400 years. After 400 years of awakening, I'm, I'm going to remind you why I'm an issue and why I'm looking for Sukuna because. <laughs> yeah, this dude is a problem, bro. If Panda actually dies, man, oh my. Like, I know <clears throat> the calling game is going to have moments that are going to be like, oh God, like, you know, we're like, people are going to be actually dying left and right. And that is the purpose of this arc. We're going to be seeing death. But it happens to the ones like this, man. Like, how do you have Panda just vibing, relaxing, having a good time? Trying to decide how he wants to live. Do that whole thing there where he's just, you know, actually trying to be a panda. And then this happens here. The fact that this beast need not a domain expansion to guarantee that his attacks will hit. Right now you're saying Kashmir, at this moment, I'm assuming, doesn't have a domain expansion. But God help me if they do. Which is still very possible that it could have something more. And Cosmo is just not even trying. Just using the basics of his curse technique. Just to do that to Panda. Imagine what he's going to do to some of the other ones. Like the other characters that try and fight. The Yuji's, the Megami's, the Okotsu's, the Hakari's and stuff. Like Hakari would literally have to go there. I don't know how far off he is. Take care of Charles now. And get there and beat Cosmo's ass. Because that's the only way I can see Kashmir being taken care of. Other than that, man, we might actually have a real problem in this arc. Like, they were shown off doing what they did in the fashion that they did for a reason to show that they are going to be one of the biggest issues to deal with in this arc. I know Kenjaku is the big prize and everything that we have to take care of to get back goals and all that, but... Things like this walking throughout the colonies, man. Because I at least said there's going to be at least one of these guys throughout each colony that are there, right? But I'm praying Panda did not just die there, man. Because, oh my god. 
If anything, he's completely incapacitated. We'll say that much. But that was an absolute, like, like literally ripped, like, the whole right side just completely obliterated. Just for messing with the electricity and stuff, man. Like, like I'm literally in physical pain. Like, this is this is hell. Like, oh my god, this this is this is a great chapter that I've been paid. Like. Kashima saw this is like, oh, you want to transform? I don't care. Electricity out. <laughs> like, and the fact that that's going to be their curse technique, just in the fact that it utilizes electricity as the main component, that is frightening. Because the possibilities you can do with electricity. Oh, my. I need to see a fight with Kashimo and one of the higher up players in the game. Like the Hikaris, the Kotsus, how I I need to see those fights. Because Kashimo feels like one of those where like semi grade one, grade one, like like elite sorcerers. Like they're proving that right here and now. Just absolute chaos. That's all I see here, man. Like But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, guys, regarding this chapter. I'm actually in pain. <laughs> like, oh my god. Just let me know, did you anticipate Panda versus Kashima actually going to happen, right? Did you think that this was the thing that you were anticipating to happen in the Culling game? Did you expect that to happen, though? Like, the way this chapter started to how it ended, did you expect Kashimo to just do all of that and basically put Panda in a Fido box without confirming whether or not that they're actually dead? In most cases, I would assume Panda's going to be dead from this, but like the fact that old boy is asking for more questions, again, where's Sukuna, leads me to believe Panda's still alive, but Panda's literally hanging by threads. Very, very thin thread, so. But again, man. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below regarding the chapter. How did you guys feel about this fight that we got here between Kashima and Panda? Are you satisfied with the sister core that we got here? Because it feels like we should have got more. But we ran into a situation where it was way too much to handle for Panda. Let's be honest. Like, probably somebody else of lesser value. Maybe if it was against, like... You know, someone like around Reggie or, you know, less of, like, you know, something along, along those lines, I would say. Maybe we would have saw more of the sister core, but Kashimo's being built up as one of the most dangerous players in the calling game for good reason, between him and Higuruma and stuff, and that's why. That's, like, literally what we just saw right now. That's why they are an issue, and... You could try to use, utilize what you wanted, but it wasn't going to work. When someone has literally the power of electricity as their curse technique, there's only so much you can do, and it's not enough. But again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Anything you want to clarify about the chapter or provide more perspective on what you guys read that you want to elaborate more down in the comments, feel free to do so. Like the video if you enjoyed Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Jujutsu Kaisen week in and week out, <laughs> now's the time. If you want to see me in pain like, like I was in Shibuya, possibly on a higher degree, if this is the way we're, we're doing things, now's the time, man. If you want to be part of the weekly experience for that for, with me, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, Shandora, so that everything goes on the channel. With that being said, I will catch you guys next week for the next chapter. I pray for Panda and Hope that they're not they're not gone. Cause I had to watch Kiryu, man. I had to watch our principal go out in the fashion that they did. I just hope Panda's okay. Like I, I really hope Panda's okay, because I can't cope. Bro, if Okotsu and them find out, man. Okotsu's gonna literally 
Tokyo won't exist anymore. It's already in shambles as it is. If Hokotsu finds out what it apparently got smoked, on top of whatever is going on now with Inumaki, Japan won't exist. If if Maki, oh god, Maki goes, bro. Oh, Hokotsu's taking the world. Anyways, let me go relax. Commodore last signing off. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. I'm with the team, yeah, yeah, we going crazy.